Well, hello, YT family. I am here to do an update on Hair Journey 2.0. Yes, I am still planning to grow my hair out. Um, nothing has changed there. And um, no, I have not gotten a perm or any of those kind of things. I still plan to be natural. And so what's been going on? Well, it's been about five and a half months since I've done my last update. And so I want to show you how my hair has grown. I have been taking um, hair, skin, and nail uh, vitamins from Trader Joe's. And of course, continually to make sure that my hair is clean and that it's moisturized and, you know, and protected. Of course, I sleep in a bonnet when I have it out in this little in this fro. Well, it's not a little fro anymore, and um, and then now going into protective style, so I don't manipulate my hair as much. Enjoy the photos. One thing I have learned is, um, well, during the summer, I had a, a low tolerance to wearing wigs. I know. Usually, in the past, I would like to wear my little curly ones. And, um, you know, this video is on my channel. You can see me in a different style of wigs. But it was just something about having the wig on my head. So I decided I was going to do a sew-in. And I used the Free Trust Equal 10-inch uh, Afro Curl. And so here's a picture of that. And that was the protective style I had worn before I had done this one. I had my hair out for about a week and then I put this one in. And here are some pictures of my head before, in the middle process, and then after. And so you can see um, the style from all uh, different sides. If the hair was long, um, I kind of got nervous when I first started because I had never used this product before. And what I used for this hairstyle, I purchased two packages of these of this product and one package of this product. And the, the larger package, the color uh, was uh, 1B. And this, for the smaller package, it was uh, M1B slash 350 because I like color around my face. And you kind of see that from the themes of wigs that I wear. I like some color around my face. I don't mind it spread out, but I really like it around my face. But it still has to be professional. But yeah, so I got a little nervous because I thought I was going to cut it in half uh, and then twist, do the uh, crochet twist. And um, not being familiar... And so I did end up cutting these braids some because they were just too long and, and take off some of the weight. But I left it long enough so that I could do this, this pinup. And so, um, so this is the pinup for this week. And what it'll look like next week, I don't know. I have to see. But you won't see those until like the next videos. I make sure that I'll take some pictures of what did I do until I take it out. And then I plan to go back to the um, Afro Curl. That's the plan. I might change my mind, you know, it's my prerogative. When I pull my hair, I have a good amount of length. So I actually am looking forward to going to my hairdresser and having her, you know, deep condition my hair, trim my ends, and then to um, blow me out and flat iron me. And then that's how I'll start doing my updates from, the, you know, each time I go in to have that done, then I'll start doing my updates so you can see what my hair looks like, you know, straight. And one thing I have to say is this, that when your hair grows out, there's certain phases you like more than others. So the current length of my hair is now, 
I like it. It looks good around my face. But it was when it was a little bit shorter, in between, it was just a little bit shorter than um, what it is now, I did not like it. And that actually what prompted me again to try to find a solution to me not being able to tolerate a wig and to try a sew-in, which I tolerated well, and again, because I couldn't snatch it off. <laughs> I just couldn't snatch it off. I, I will search out a natural hair um, stylist in my area. Stay positive. Keep moving forward. Be the best you ever. Get inspiration from other people. Don't imitate them, though. But get inspiration from them, but yet be the best you ever. Keep the faith and keep moving forward. And thank you so much for watching my video.